welcome back to the vlog. I'm heading out on the uh, La Fabrica group ride this morning, which the first ride that I did here was with that group. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't really go on it for very long because it was my first ride in Girona. But anyway, I'm going back there today and I'm hoping that at some point we can get a chat with Christian Meyer, uh, ex-pro cyclist, ex-Orica Green Edge rider. <laughs> So the plan today is to do about two hours uh, with including going over the famous Hincapi climb. Last week we had like over 30 people in the group. This week we've got about 10 or 12. I think the reason being when I woke up this morning it was actually snowing. But like I say every day, it doesn't take that long at all to warm up. <laughs> I'm currently at the back of the train, hiding myself from the wind. It's quite nice back here. So we just started to climb up the Hincapi climb. It's not the official name, it's like the unofficial name. I believe this climb is called the Hincapi climb because uh, George Hincapi, the American uh, the American cyclist, I believe when he used to live here in Girona, this used to be his favourite climb. So now they've like unofficially named it after him, which is kind of cool. Just arrived back into the city, two hours done today, another decent two hours, but it's, it's just so windy at the minute. And to take the camera out when you're riding in a group, it's just a little bit irresponsible. It's very gusty as well, so one minute you'll think, oh, it's fine, it's not windy. I'll take the camera out, start filming something, and then suddenly a big gust of wind hits you, and you've got one hand on the handlebars, you're not really thinking about where you're going, and before you know it, you'll be on the floor. So as I said before, it was snowing this morning. It was actually, actually snowing, but only for like 20 minutes. And then it warmed up, the sun came out, and now it is another awesome, amazing, sunny day in Girona. I completely forgot that it's Sunday and that all supermarkets in Spain are shut on Sundays. So I have to go out to get some lunch, but I'm watching the Cyclocross World Cup on the YouTube live stream. Once this is finished, I'm gonna go and get some food. I came out with my coat unzipped, but it's cold. It's properly cold. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to get a chat today with Christian on the ride, but I'm still keen to make that happen. Windy. It's still windy. Still windy. So I was supposed to be going to find somewhere for lunch, like, an hour ago and I just ended up walking around the city finding all these little roads just getting lost in this maze of roads and steps and buildings. Girona really is a spectacular city. All right now I really do need to go and find some lunch because time's getting on a little bit. Wait. Look at the size of that croissant. That is ridiculous. Decided to come back to the same place as the other day. It's cheap, and you know what you're getting. As a result of popular demand, I've, I've set up a fantasy league for the Tour Down Under. It's on the Velo Games website. I'm going to put the link in the top line of the description to the website. And I'll also put the league code that you need uh, to, to enter the league and to submit your team. It will be awesome if you join the league, submitted your nine rider super team, and it will, it will just be a cool little competition. And the winner of the league by the end of the Tour Down Under, if it's not me, I'll give you a shout out in the vlog. So there it is on the Velo Games website. The league's called Cycling Cam YouTube. My team's called the Cycling Cam Crew. Original name I know, but it's gonna be a fun and interesting way to follow the race. But that's gonna be the end of the video for today. When will I see you next? When, when, when could I possibly?